Perspective plans and sections can really enhance the quality of presentations of your Revit projects. And to be able to do that in Revit, you just need to have the nicely done model as I have here, so you can see how I made it. And by the way, for this project, I made a full tutorial, which is five and a half hours long for this Japandi bedroom, where I also showed how you can create all those plan views, uh, as well as ceiling plans and lighting plan, then how you can create elevations, details. And next to that one, I also showed how you can create this wardrobe and how you can get material takeoff from there, how you can get uh, those case for schedules. So you will see what's the thickness of materials we were using, their dimensions, as well as what's the material and how many of those pieces we have. And on top of it, you will see that this part of our perspective sections are, and plans are very important part of the presentation. But also in this mini course, I showed how you can create photorealistic renders uh, using Enscape in Revit. And at ArchitEasy, we have the Plus group, that's our paid group, and you can access and watch this tutorial for only $12 per month. And just keep in mind that this is going to be available by 31st of December because once a month we are going to have the workshop or mini course and all the monthly subscribers will be able to access the current month workshop and with a yearly subscription you will save 20% and for only $115 you can get this Revit architecture course as well. And the process to create those perspective plans or section is very simple so I will just turn off section box here in this view and then I will do the right click on this cube. I will go, actually, no, sorry. I will first of all duplicate this view. So let's duplicate it. And let's name this one as 3D Architeasy Plan Perspective, like this, Perspective. And then let's move this to the Architecture Discipline. So now I will go here to the right click orient to view and then I'm gonna orient this to let's say this plan and I can also let's say move the scale to 1 to 50 so what I need to do right now is I can just go here hit perspective and basically I mean that's it uh, of course what we can do is that we can lock our our view and let's say that we would like to make it to be hidden by the way, it's important to say that in this case, for this texture here, I was using Enscape texture and that texture doesn't have its pattern when it comes to the to the hidden plan, so to the hidden visual style. So just take a look at the card above and then you will see how you can create your own pattern if needed. And by the way, in this case, what I don't like you see here, so I locked it, I will just going to unlock this, this view. Uh, and of course, I can just go back to the orthographic. So what I don't like is how our section box uh, box is cutting. I would like to bring it down because I would like to cut through the. Yeah, something like this is fine. Then let's just click here on the top, right click perspective. And this this looks better to me. So I can uh, what I would like to do. Uh, is to have no disco uh, this section box but if I select it if I actually uh, in 3d view go and uncheck it here see what's gonna happen it's going to bring back everything let's go undo so let's say that we would like to preserve the cut but not to have this visible we can just go to visibility graphics and then annotation categories so here I can turn it off so section box and let's let's have it like this we can you see with moving it left or right we can adjust its perspective so this this seems fine to me i'm gonna i'm gonna lock i'm gonna actually save orientation and lock the view and then i will first of all go to the graphic display options i will turn off um, turn on ambient shadows i like it and then I need to add some nice pattern for our wall cut. So let's go to visibility graphics. And then for our walls, for a cut and then for a pattern, 
I can let's say try with a solid color so let's just try this one to see how it's going to look like I, I, I think it's fine it's okay but let's say that you would like to make it I don't know a bit nicer for that I will go back and then I will do the next thing I will pick here let's say this diagonal up and then I'm gonna give it a very bright color uh, while for a background I will pick solid color and I will add it slightly darker so let's see how it's going to look like yeah I really like how how it look like now so uh, that's it for a plan view it was that uh, that simple of course if you want you can just anytime go here and crop the view and in this case I just need to make the crop uh, region visible let's let's just expand it a little bit so we are sure what are our limits of this of this of this plan this drawing uh, actually this uh, yeah uh, perspective plan and then untick this crop region visible so this is this is our our perspective plan and on the same way uh, I can just go here and in this 3D view let's go duplicate this one and then here I firstly need to rename this one and to move this to the architectural so I will go right click to the cube and then orient to the view sections and then let's just go to the section 2 I will move the scale and I can I can in this case just let's say let's let's go right click perspective I like it this is well this is fine so I'm gonna go to the graphic display options and for this one I'm gonna turn both of them so ambient shadows and I'm gonna cast shadows but what I don't like is how the shadows enter this space so I'm gonna fix it for that you need to go here to the sun path and then sun settings and I'm gonna use this those settings here so let's try with 270 okay this is better let's make it maybe 235 225 okay let's make this 20 degrees so I like how it look like this is okay here I'm gonna go to the hidden style so this is all fine except one thing and that thing is that I don't like those very strong shadows so how can we fix it for that we need to go to the graphic display options again and then for lighting so I can just make it maybe 45 30 15 let's see perfect really good so you can even decrease the power of the shadow if you want so just play with those numbers until you get the result you want and of course in this case we can just add the same the same cut pattern for the for the floors and the walls and we need to hide this section box so we can before you saw that I went to visibility graphics in this case you can just go right click and then hide this in view let's lock our view and that's it and if you would like to level up your presentation skills in Revit just take a look at this tutorial